Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community, I'm Trigger, and I thought I'd continue my series where I analyze these professional drivers' runs and sort of show you the shortcuts and the best lines within a course. And for this particular video, we're going to be doing Fish Hook with the F40. Water Blob got a 208, which is crazy, man. All right, let's go. Real quick before I get into the video, shout out to Waterblob for this run. It's absolutely insane and you guys should definitely go check out his YouTube channel. I have a link in the description down below. All right, let's get into this analysis. All right, so there's nothing special off the launch. He's launching in manual and he's launching in second gear for the best launch for this one. He's using a four speed transmission, so no biggie there. Um, he's using every single burst NOS bar that he gets. He's about to pass this cop on the left. He gets two bars, uses it right away. Um, on this one, he's got a little micro drift, one bar, pop it. And on that corner, let's back up and take a look at this real quick. So on this corner, when he gets the one bar and pops it, it basically gives him a grip corner as well. So he gets the one bar from his drifting, from his micro drift, then pops it and gets a two bar right there that he can then add and stack to the right-hander that he's about to do to get his third and then he'll have a three bar that he can take the right-hand corner with so he's going through here my little micro drift gets his third boom burst it on this one now he's basically at full speed at this point so you can see his uh, tachometer he's bouncing off rev limiter so he really doesn't need to farm any nos until he gets closer to the next turn he's going to want to have a couple of bars for this next turn so you can see he's doing a little bit of micro drifting now he's getting up his grips right there got a full bar of grip just with those two little wiggles a nice little drift into it with a three bar and there's one thing i want to talk about here he's actually spamming his gas and he's using the left stick in order to create micro drifts and thus gain more burst so if we back up so this is right after okay so this is right after he pops the three bar watch his uh controller overlay check this out spam 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 and he's going back and forth with the joystick trying to create that that drift see how he's got a micro drift now and he's gaining bursts from all of that and what's really interesting is once he's done with this turn see he's micro drifting micro drifting but he's also gripping he's double dipping when he's micro drifting, that gives him burst to use. He uses it, and when he's done with that, he gets a grip nos. So here we go. Boom. He got a, a full, is that a full crown? I think it was. Back up a little bit here. Yep, it was a full burst. A full burst off of that turn. That's awesome and that gets him right up back right back up to top speed so now he doesn't really have to farm too much he's gonna he's gonna do a grip turn see him wiggling back and forth he's just farming grip and then he got a really lucky cop spawn and he didn't need to farm that at all he just sideswiped the cop which really doesn't slow you down too much and it gives you a full three bars so you can do that it was super lucky but it ended up working out had that cop not spawned at all there he would have kept weaving back and forth, back and forth until he got enough for the full three bar for this right hander. This is a very tight right hander and he kind of takes it a little wide and I think you can burst it maybe just a tiny bit earlier, but let's see what it goes. Let's see how this goes. Let's see. Yeah, see he, he waited until he was already at the corner before he burst and that really could have something to do with his drift build and I'm going to have to ask him about that, but this looks a little bit wide. The thing is though, he takes it with incredible speed. I mean, he's at 316 kilometers per hour, which means he's in the high 100s. Um, and he takes it super, super fast, which is which is great. But he does go into the dirt, just or the grass just a little bit. And then he kind of has to slow the car down in order to take this turn. So he slows it down a little bit, got a little drifting going, and then full three bursts to come out of it. And then he's back with another two bar and he can get the car to top speed pretty quickly after that. So now all he's doing is just trying to get a three bar for the right hand turn. And these next couple of turns are maybe the most important turns in the entire race. So see how he's farming. He just farms it any way he can because he needs the three burst on these couple of turns. If you look at the mini map, you've got 
a very tight, so almost like a U-turn right-hander, followed by a lazy left, which is not too bad. You can just burst around both of those two pretty easily. And then the next corner after the lazy left is a little bit of a lazy right and then a strong left and a strong right. And you want burst on all of those things. So here's what he's doing. So he farmed it up to get three, drift it, burst, burst around this one. Actually, he didn't burst around that one. I'm sorry. He farmed it up to three again, burst it around this one. Beautiful burst. And then farmed it again here. Got another burst and he's just popping them now as he uses them. I usually personally, when I'm grip racing this, he's, he's in a drift build. When I grip race this, that last corner, this last corner here, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. All right. So here's the lazy, right? So you got to have a three burst for this corner. Super important to have a three burst for this corner and you need to take it tight inside the road sort of banks a little bit like this. And you need to be inside on this one otherwise you'll end up going really wide and you want to finish on the left side of this of this corner you want to finish over here the reason you want to finish over here is so that you can take this right hander with another burst now normally he drifted it which means he didn't get a full grip turn out of that but normally if you're in a grip build you will pop that three burst you'll grip around the corner and it'll reward you again with another three burst i have a clip for that i'll throw it over this game plays that way you can see it if you're grip racing then that's going to be the best way to take it because you need to be able to chain those three bursts back to back but then on this right hander he's farming he gets one pops it gets another one pops it he's just trying to get back to top speed as fast as possible and that's what he's doing what an incredible run by water blob he ran a 208 and i challenge anyone out there to run a 208 with an f40 on fish hook it is very very difficult but this is the way you want to do it there's not really any cuts there's not really any like special things but burst nos is incredibly important i want to highlight a couple of turns that are really really important and crucial to you keeping your speed throughout the race and this right hander that i'm about to show you is really important it's important to take a three burst bar into this because this sets you up to be at full top speed throughout this entire straight long period before you have the left hand. So this corner, you need to have a three burst. You gotta farm to get that three burst on that corner and you wanna get yourself back up to top speed for this long straight. Another one is this left hander at the end of the straight. It's really nice to have a three burst for this. And there's two ways that you can take this. Water Blob actually figures out a way to get away from this little jump. If you've done this race and you know it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's a little bit of a jump that happens right after you take the corner. But what he's doing is he drifts and kind of like misses it on the right and bursts over it. It's really interesting how this works. But if you go a little bit of drift, bursts over the little jump. And it kind of keeps his car down because he's in... I guess what it's called like burst mode I, i'm not really even sure what to call it but basically when you burst your car's downforce gets multiplied your car's uh turning radius gets multiplied and so you have incredible grip when you're bursting so your goal is to burst before the hump so that your car sticks to the ground but you have to be turned at the right angle now the other way to take this is what i usually do and it's slower but it's better for grip racing it seems is that you micro drift that corner, wait till you get over the hump and then pop your three bar and drain your NOS through this entire turn. That gives you another three bar at the end of the turn and then you can use that to keep yourself at full speed when you get out of it. This is another crucial point during this race. The next turn is right up here. This right hander going under the freeway bridge is kind of difficult, but once you nail this with a burst turn, your times are gonna like way come down i mean you're gonna have way way better times if you can burst this turn he does it beautifully even though it's a little wide i think it's kind of nice actually that it goes wide i was kind of criticizing it earlier but because he goes wide it kind of sets him up for like a good angle on this on this on ramp so anyway i don't know if wide is the right answer but in this case it worked out really really well this is a huge point in this race if you do that turn well you're gonna have very very good success and then, like I said earlier, the other three turns at the end of the race 
very important. So those are your points. If you practice those those three or four three bar burst NOS points in this race, you guys are going to improve your time like crazy. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I can do a lot more of these videos. If you like the format, please let me know in the comments. I tried something a little bit different. We did some live commentary here and that's always kind of difficult. It's hard to time things and hard to talk about things. So anyway, just uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of the format of this video. If it was good, if it was easy to follow, if it was boring, let me know it's boring. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much. Shout out to all the Heat 5 members of the channel. You guys are amazing. We'll catch you on the next one. Trigger out.